so uh, technical difficulties, a couple YouTube videos, not to fix the issue, but to actually like, spend time while I'm fixing you. And here I am, back. All right, take one. Alpha now here. So we got specters being summoned and attacking us, and we were told, uh, hey, take an airship. And then they told us to enter a dungeon. Party and entered the Heroes Conflict. Well, uh, sorry. Here we go. Uh, let's let's ring this up. Um, here we go. Just so so we uh, we'll, we'll keep out for now. We'll keep at least one of the twenty. But. Let's let's let Sancred use his uh, full abilities. Damn dragoons. Hang on to something. And we're going to crash land in Amarang. My last purple carrot juice to increase my spell, spell speed. Kingdon and Kassard. Let's make our way through here. That's why I thought there was some commotion. Metallus must only be Magnus. Let's go thank them afterwards. Sorry, not the Talos. 
trying to use spectrals. Monks! I find offense to this. Yeah, you keep doing six pointed star. Which, don't get me wrong, is still a decent tool to use. But usually you want to just use that as you, as you make your escape. Ah, uh, that Dragoon! Thief. This is a reference to early Final Fantasy games. That is Thief as a class. Oh, oh I don't want to go there. I'm gonna make sure to like follow.
Oh, I died. Oh. I was like, oh, is that it? <laughs> Did I beat him? No. <coughs> I died. This was one of the reasons why I... Hope I know how to summon this uh, pet. Which is in a ferry, it's a uh, moonstone carbuncle. Hey, I went to the right place. I'm starting to learn when to use a uh, six-sided star. Oh, Fade Portal.
These spectral monks are offending me. We meet again and during such a festive occasion. Kill the healer! Okay, who are you, who are you targeting? Let's, let's target the same person. MRI. Not one to fight, but we know when we must. And tomorrow to fight with. And tomorrow to fight. Oh, hello, Ink Mages. Or Flambe too. Come, my lovelies. Come and join the fight fun. It's Titania, Titania, also known as Deo. And it's a necromancer.
Well, that's a nice thought. Bring them all to the center. It's a pixie mask, it's a presto. A secret patron, Sir Lankolin. Look, a path is opening up. Thank you, Feo. I see it, the crystal tower. What is going on? You've got my hammer. One. He's got her helm back on. He's bloody dumb. Oh, hold on. You're a monk here. I get rid of the monk. Back yacht and the sail rig. Painters around here? Is Granson and the Reek? I suppose they're not going to modify the dungeon to to base off of what you you've done.
Prepare yourself! Okay, and give me the damage up during downtime. Yacht, Lurik, Yurig. All of our roll quest followers for uh, quest -giver. Better boss time. I did the order of operations there wrong for the second. Oh no! No, not lag! This is not good. At least I know what to do in this fight.
<laughs> there are a few animations that will still do. Oh, Jesus. All right. Here we go. Get up to LV2. I'm not gonna LB unless it's necessary. Unless I get LB2. Might not get it. I mean, I didn't need to. <laughs> he was almost dead. I might as well. my tombstones. See what happens after this. I think that's the last of them. Apparently even they have limits. Nevertheless, we should remain vigilant. Urianger, something occurred to me while we were fighting. These enemies. Our heroes hailing from other shards, summoned hither to deliver this world from its doom. Scant moments after the star shower did they appear as yet more souls were inspired to walk the hero's path, no doubt. Thus did hopes for salvation of realms near and far resonate and converge, lending still greater strength unto our adversary. So that's Elidibus's game. But first things first. If the rings are the same as the Exarchs, then we need to ask him how that's possible. The Crystarium is close. Let us press on. They come. So near and yet so far. In the chaos of conflict, one can always find an opening to exploit. 
Whoever taught you that is a wise man indeed, and good with a gun blade. But yes, I dare say we can create an opening wide enough for at least one of us to slip through. That being you, of course. Though others are welcome to follow in your wake, Reen and I will keep our guests occupied. Brave and selfless as ever. Yet the two of you may struggle to fool our foes, etherically sensitive as they are. Had you a comrade who could use destructive magics to wreak havoc upon the ambient ether, on the other hand? <laughs> Very well. I too shall assist in the diversionary effort. Oh, not this old dance again. Yes, obviously I'll stay and fight. <laughs> Alize is just not gonna like make some wisecracking comment. He's just gonna, gonna say it. Alphano, right. I'm about to do a great many stupid and reckless things. Watch my back, would you? There you have it. Take care of yourself, my friend. All right, make a nice big opening, eh? We'll do our best. Finished? Then let's begin. Nice right, little LB3 from the Red Mage. Oh, my and the ocular. Did that in the wrong voice. That's okay. is done. Oh, let me see, let me see. Oh, yes. Your memories are preserved safely within. We've done it. We've done it at last. <sighs> I have inspected the other vessels. They are all ready to receive of our friend's memories. My familiar's bear word to them at once. Elidibus. It was not until I observed the battle between Emmet Selk and the Warrior of Darkness that I realized what I must do. I will summon heroes from other worlds unto the first, just as you did. Their presence shall serve to empower me, granting me the strength to crush my enemy. Though it pains me to disappoint you, I feel compelled to explain that the magic in question requires no small amount of preparation. Ah, but you assume I require my champions to be summoned in their entirety. I do not. Their souls needn't even be whole. My purpose requires no more than their burning desire to vanquish evil. This I shall sear upon the ether, raising thereby an army of phantom heroes to whom I shall whisper, as I have to so many over the ages. 
Here lies darkness. It must be destroyed. And you expect me to cooperate? Oh, Mr. Bob, I expect you to die. I do not require your cooperation. Your death will suffice. The magic I shall have from your corpse. Now in the present, our hero races towards the Crystarium with all due haste. Backlog. My friend, how did you? No matter, Elidibus, he took us unawares. to hinder his steps and so we fled but he took it the vessel with the exarch's memories forgive me forgive me the vessel bears not only my memories but my blood the blood of Allegan royalty granting him the means to control the tower with it, he has performed I know not how many summonings, calling forth heroes from across the rift. And, as you can see, the burden upon the tower is beginning to tell. Leave him to me. No, I won't let you go alone. Not this time. <sighs> Elidibus has exploited the people's nobility, twisted their purest intentions for terrible ends, and I cannot let it stand. As Exarch, it is my duty to protect them, to defend their hopes and dreams. So I am going to the Crystal Tower, with or without your blessing. Though, I would rather it were with. Thank you. I joined you, but I would only be a burden. Better that I remain here with my gremlins. I shall send help. Stay strong, my friend, and take heart. By binding Elidibus within the tower, we have done more than simply delay him. Much like our adversary, I am not wont to show my hand prematurely, 
But the time has come to bring my strongest card to bear. To the tower! With your permission, I would make a brief stop at the Assassin's Gate. Just long enough to send the guard to Becklog's aid. Huh? Were it not for them, we would never have escaped a little bit, much less with the spear of us. Though mine fell into to our foe's clutches, Becklog gathered up the rest and at great risk to themselves. I must see that they are safe before we press on. Enough good people have given their lives that I might have fulfilled, fulfilled my duty. Lord of Darkness, uh, Exarch, forgive me, that you give us this paltry greeting, you were not notified of your coming. It wasn't planned. I need you to assemble a rescue party. Our friend Becklug wounded in the clearing to the west. Pray go to the aid with all haste. At once, my lord, may I ask how they, be they came to harm? There have been reports of enemies in our midst, spectres, they appeared in the star shower. Do you have something to do with this? Yes, the man who attacked Beglug is also responsible for the Stourshire and the appearance of the Spectres. I have no time to explain, but know that the individual in question does not seek to do indiscriminate harm. If you do not bar this, his servant's past, they will not turn on you. You are to leave this foe to us, understood? Meanwhile, I ask that you alert the rest of the guard and focus on maintaining calm in the city. Understood. Nina. I shall take charge of the matters of the city. Find back luck now. No time to explain. <laughs> the graver the matter, the less inclined you are to speak it, even when it is plain for all to see, like what is happening to you. Nina, this time it truly is. I know, my lord. For matters otherwise, I believe you would be willing to speak of your past rest. Yet I remain afraid to do so. Afraid that what I might learn would make a stranger of you. Forgive me, there is no time. Perhaps a few words are in order. Indeed, I must be made. Lena, you remember the time you got lost in the tower when you were little, searched for you for hours on end. And the cake I baked for your tenth birth name day. That hideous lump the good people of the moon covered up with beautiful candies. And your hapless first encounter with the Sin Eaters as a guard. Afterwards, you threw yourself into your training. I mean, nothing was wrong, but I can see the tears in your eyes. 
All these moments that that we shared, all the feelings that accompanied them, they are real as hot as they came before. Nothing will ever change that. Will ever change. If I have made you worry, then I beg your forgiveness. Evans, you deserve better. Through the darkest of times, you have kept faith with me. Standing tall as a proud daughter of the Crusarian. As an example to us all. I count myself blessed to have had you in my life. Speak so. As if this were our last meeting. Truly you have a knack for making people worry. <laughs> Besides, it is you who are an example to us all. You who have led us through countless trials, and you who would lead us through countless trials to come. So go, my lord, what you must. Take care. Ward holds. Excellent. The abyss will still be within the tower. Our foe's sole purpose is to destroy you, and to that end he has summoned heroes from other reflections, empowering himself with their hope even as they occupied our confidence. You will not best him as easily as you did in the depths. Any, by any measure, the odds are now stacked firmly in his favor. To wit, spare no preparation, my friend. I shall lift the ward only when you are ready. You may now enter the Hero's Gauntlet with a part, uh, party of NPC avatars. To make use of this fe feature, open the trust interface located under duty in the main. You're ready then. Very well, I shall lift the ward. Let me finish. You know, it wasn't so long ago that I watched you steal <laughs> the Nah, it's time we finish this. That's because that's what focus. And finish it we shall, for no hero for no hero our foe can summon to your side shall ever compare to you. For me, well, uh, you could summon to your side. <laughs> Try harder than that much, I swear. So come my friend, let's finish this once and for all. Time to ascend the Crystal Tower. Different perspective than when we were in Circus Tower before. Not here either. We must keep climbing. was but a matter of time. I cannot keep up with you. 
nor will it avail us to make a stand here. You must go on without me. Find Elidibus and stop him. Worry not, my friend. Though I am no warrior, I have learned to hold my own over the years. When first we explored this tower, you and your fellow adventurers formed the van, while I was left to follow in your wake. Suffice it to say, I was not best pleased with the arrangement. How I wished that I could join you. And now I have, here where it all began. I was right to trust in you, and the power of your legacy, of your name, to let them guide my every deed. For Elidibus is my name, and my mission, guiding my every deed. Why me? I'm just a slub that likes to punch things. Why you? Why not you? Had I chosen another, we would never have made it this far. Or do I mistake your meaning? Elidibus spoke in similar terms, you say? How curious. To answer your question, then, I made my choice for reasons which seemed obvious to me, but may not to any other. There were the expectations I placed upon myself before beginning my slumber, and the expectations of those who roused me. Of course, I had the choice to turn my back on a lot of it. But in the end, it was no choice at all. I cherish the time I spent with you and the others. What I wouldn't give to return to those halcyon days. Chasing ancient secrets, overcoming trial after trial with the aid of like-minded comrades. And what remarkable comrades they were. In such company, I felt as if I were a character in the epic tales that had stirred my heart as a boy. As if my dream had come true. It hadn't, of course, for I was no hero. Neither then nor after. Though the world to which I awakened and the first were beset with myriad problems, I rarely knew how best to play my part. There was, however, one thing of which I was certain, that I could not bear to let those dear to me meet a tragic end. I'm afraid our time is up. Go! Rest assured, you haven't seen the last of me. I wouldn't dream of playing my trump card save in your presence.
top of Circus Tower. Memories of a possible future. Worthless. All. Worthless as memories of the only past. Fated to fray and fade into oblivion. Leaving naught but a gaping void. The Waking Sands. Yes, that was the place. The place I first made myself known to you and yours. The Seventh Rejoining had left the realm listing dangerously towards darkness, and events were unfolding that threatened to push it over the brink. Thus did I approach you in my capacity as emissary, thinking that you would make a useful pawn. But I was wrong. And for my misstep did La Habrea and Emmet Selk pay the ultimate price, leaving me the last of the unsundered. My remaining brethren, fragmented as they are, cannot hope to see our mission to its end. It falls to me alone. Defeat is not an option. I will strike you down. I will resurrect Lord Zodiac, and I will bring back those who sacrifice themselves to call him forth. Though it take a thousand, thousand years, upon my honor as a Lydipus, emissary of the Convocation of Fourteen, I will see this done. That his devotion is not without reason, but if he himself knows or remember, remember what that reason is. Worry too much, Elidibus. His dedication to your duty verges on obsession. Those who once relied upon you are. What of it? I have my mission. I am Elidibus, and it is my duty to steer mankind and the very star upon their true course. This I swore to. to someone. We spoke, and I swore. What? What did I... <laughs> this pain... This... Torment... It's nothing, no more than must be suffered to deliver the world from its doom. No more than any of you malformed creatures have known. Even should you lose all that is dear to you, even should it cost you your life, you bear the burden and fight on. 
kicking and screaming until your last breath is spent! Aye, it's true. We've lost much and more. Known unimaginable suffering. But through it all, we never, ever forgot what was dear to us. And that's what gave us the strength to carry on. You have no fight left to fight. This is just one thing to say. No. No. It will not end here. Champions from beyond the rift, heed my call. The time is come to deliver your brethren from darkness. My heart's sole desire is a world free of sorrow. Join with me now in hope and prayer for the salvation of all. If you would usher in the end, then with my all shall I oppose you. As the avatar of those mortal heroes who fought unfalteringly in all their imperfection. As the warrior of light incarnate. Come, warrior of darkness. Let us finish this. Herein I commit the chronicle of the traveler, the bird to the stars in the dark. In the world and Sunday in our souls set adrift, where we walk my dearest friend, fate shall surely come. For yours is the fourteenth seat, the seat, the zim, or zem. An invocation <laughs> of Eld, though not of Hydaelyn's making. What are you? I'm currently eight parts Zem. <laughs> no, it matters not. You are the enemy, and you will fall. Even should it cost me everything, I will not forsake my duty. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love this fight. It's so cool. I love it so much. Ah! Uh, the trials. <laughs> See the sacrifice. Uh, every time I get a little checkup, or even that was hard. Ten nine minutes. Oh jeez, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, uh, I just want to wait here. I don't want to do anything in this beautiful thing. He shoots the thing, I pull out the crystal with the symbol of the Zim, or Zem, A-Z-E-M, probably the structure. Spick here. Yep. Uh, 
care too much. The guy just pulled it. Hey! 795 Wedics. Not enough to get another egg. Jeez. Ah! So excited! I'm so excited! Vital Fighter Circus Towers. Ah! Four DPS, one, one healer. Just need two tanks and a healer. Good to go. Like, like, what do I do during this, like, few minute downtime? I don't know. Yeah, let me look at my timers. Maybe I can get it somehow. That training is late. Go back to Gridania and... <laughs> I'm doing is going to complete their training and start them on day one. I think I, I think I, I need a pee. Yeah, okay. Be right back. Hopefully I'll be back before this pops. Just because I kind of need a pee. I don't like... Good news is the key didn't pop. Bad news is the key didn't pop. I literally don't know what to do. It's like, I don't want to do anything. I want to do this fight. I'm so excited. Uh, what's my... Uh, a couple other things. Uh, yeah. I want to look at Before doing it, I don't have the other thing.
just need to do this one and I think I'll have, have all a little of them up here. It not a so many. Need a little more. Ah! Damn it, Q. Oh, god damn it. I think I lost me. Oh, I know what I can So you're probably wondering why I'm doing this kind of boots out here. Well, part of the uh, relic quest. Why that paladin guy is doing this too, I bet. You can also get him uh, by other means, such as decorating some of the followers of Southern French. But this is guaranteed and this is a grind. got a luminous water crystal for something else.
me do this on. Maybe I should be doing this on Dancer so that I can get XP. Well, this this queue is going longer than I thought. Uh, it's taking longer than I thought. Oh, jeez. Well, this is something to do in the meantime. So, my relic weapon quest is to get 20 memories of
three varieties of memory and 20 of each. And if I'm intending to at least get four of these, one for each of the, the rolls that I got. Well, this is fun. Twenty minutes.
There we go. Hey, I completed the 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 fate. Well, I was at it. Just like when we fought I'm at Selkis Hades. For my people, for our world, I will strike you down. This battle shall be our last. I think the first. Yeah, where we Asians have been forced to retreat time and again. Did everybody make it? We did. You clutch the crystal of Azem to your breast and wish upon it with all your heart. And so it ends in unceremonious silence. I don't understand why they could even voice act it. We made it more dramatic, for sure. You! It cannot be! There it is. Back where we are. There I am, down the... Uh,
To me, warriors of light! I am salvation, given form. Mankind's first hero, and his final hope! For victory, I render up my all! Your demise will be ours! No! All right. Let's try this again. Well, we we we, we got a little echo. <laughs> This battle shall be our last. I think we skipped. <laughs> skipped it. Thanks, dude. At least we get to see the cutscene again. Here we are, Asians are forced to retreat time and again. You need your demise. Uh, I'm gonna do mouse click and button click. Here we are. All right, now we now slow your roll in the LB. Yes, we need to tank LB three. So it ends in ceremony seven. You, it cannot be. To have an anime 
I am uh, salvation given form. Mankind's first hero and his final hope. For victory, I render up my all. Your demise will be our salvation. Yep, we got it. There's a little healing buff. You still stand. Be gone, born of shadow. Wait, is somebody else in the LB? Wait, why did why did somebody do the LB? Why did somebody do the LB? We weren't even in LB three yet.
how it's shit. No, no. I cannot fail. I will not. Fool! You have achieved nothing! I am immortal, yet I will never surrender! <sighs> Illidibus, so fixated were you on my memories of the future, you failed to heed the lessons of the past. Your obsession blinded you to the true nature of this tower. This beacon of hope for mankind. Created to serve as a reservoir for the limitless energy of the heavens. To harness and bind the boundless. Not unlike white orosite. Your ill-begotten power. Obtained by exploiting that which is best in us. I shall have it. Your soul and all! Emotions! Emotions! More team. Ancient. This is... Yes. I would become him. I would save everyone. This is... I believed. Yet still they cried out in rage and despair. Divided over the fate of the star. A rare occurrence, always fleeting, but not this time, not this time. Reconciliation, Elizabeth, I was needed, 
I withdrew myself from Zodiac. For them. My people. My brothers. My friends. Stay strong. Keep the faith. At duty's end, we will meet again. We will. We will. The rains have ceased, and we have been graced with another beautiful day. But you are not here to see it. I concede I may have overexerted myself. Yeah, I think. <laughs> Steady now and listen. I told you before that I had a plan and that when all is said and done, I would ask a favor of you. We have averted the Eighth Umbral Calamity. Found a way for everyone to return to the Source. And, last but not least, we have secured the future of all the people of Norvrand. We have won, my friend. So, I hope you'll forgive me this moment of selfishness and while I wouldn't want you to feel obliged. Promise me you'll take me on your next adventure. A journey. Together. That's all I ask. Oh, you big lug. It would me earlier. <sighs> if I were to tell you that this isn't the end, that we will meet again, would you believe me? My friend, with you, my mind and memory shall travel to the ends of the world and beyond. But in this place shall my body stand immovable. May it serve as an undying promise, not only to those who look to me for leadership, but to any soul who has known despair that hope is everlasting.
feelings. Feelings. There, the Exarch would remain, keeping his silent vigil. When the Scions were not released from his summoning spell, we proceeded with the plan to return them to the Source. The Warrior of Darkness, however, retained his ability to traverse the two worlds at will. And in time, the Crystal Tower became a symbol of his link to the First, and of hope. With the, the, the science, eh? Such moments is hard to sit to know what to say. All right, my friend. Come on, be late. You did well. Let's go see you in the Exarch. There we descend from the throne room. I did chance upon an object which I have the right of it. Once, apologies. Now it's not an appropriate time. I'll speak to it later. Shortly after you left, we observed that our enemy's ranks were no longer being replenished, assuming that your absence was noted. So we polished them off and came as quickly as we could. Which is to say, not quickly enough, but to, then you had the Exarch. You could, could ask for no better than that. <laughs> oh, jeez. I didn't think I would have feelings of talking to you. Sometimes I wish I had too had been gifted with the echo, then I might see what you have seen in glimpse into your heart for them or words. Oh jeez. Oh I I didn't I, I didn't even talk to them. <laughs> That's fine. Oh shit. This is the second time I've been going through this and I'm already like tearing up. Oh jeez. Am I all right? I, I, I should be the one asking you. <laughs> oh, feelings. But yes, I'm fine. Thank you. We all are. The, pro the people are fine. The city's fine. And the showers are, our showers have stopped. It's almost as if we've gone back to the peaceful days that followed the night's return. Almost. <laughs> oh, gee. Doctoring only way is forward, so I believe that whatever lies ahead will be better than what no, oh, thank you. Ah feelings. Oh Here you eyes, water oh gee. As a ghost, if you're ready, would you recount to us how the day unfolded? Exposition. They reached out to Lydibus at the last, and his heart was moved. All he did is... And it changed nothing. Well, ultimately, you had no choice but to strike him down. But the important thing is this. Though violence proved unavoidable, you did at least come to understand your foe. And in knowing his hopes and dreams, Best remember him, and his legacy. So long as they remain unforgotten, love he and his brothers bore for one another, and the star may yet be rewarded. Said that in ancient, but how is that possible? 
Okay, from Mehmet Zok. He knew of Elibus' plight, foreseeing his own death. He made provisions to bring Elibus' suffering to an end. Lest his friend be left to continue the struggle. So, uh, quick comment here. I kind of mentioned it when we were doing the fight. Or uh, before. So, it, it mentioned the Azem, the, the 14th member of the convocation, 14. And we had that, that whole thing about um, he was like, well, everybody stayed in Amurai. He went out and was meant to like understand the world. Or, or learn about the world, get an intimate feeling about it, and travel and everything. We had that whole story about Azem. Them. A-Z. Them. So, my thought is that our soul, being that one of the fractured souls, our soul is the reincarnated soul of the Zem. So we kind of are tuned to this this crystal that Emmett Selk made. I think, I think that's why. I, I think it. I think it's. I think that's the case. I think Emmett Selk made it. I'm not sure about that one, but the the one with the the dot. The circle around it. It's kind of like a uh, sun. The center of the universe sort of thing. So if we're our so fracture souls that, and each time there was rejoining, and there were seven because of seven honorable calamities, then we got Ardbert in there too, who was also one piece of Azem's fractured soul. Basically has joined us. That's why Ardbert talked to us during the thing. Again, that also had feelings. So we're attuned to this because we are part of the Zem soul. We're, we're like eight parts of 14. Where we're over half a soul. We're actually pretty dense. So that crystal helped manifest the full... Zem and magic, magic and magic, etc. We invoke the power of the Zem. Uh, that's my thought. I, I think I got it. Got that from um, with this. Uh, this Asher, a uh, uh, Final Fantasy XIV word word. Um, I think that's where I kind of got it from, like one of his parents in the realm or something like that. But I, I think it makes total sense. That's that's why we could use it in the first place because we were already part of that. So we basically channeled the, the power of the Zem, the the original guy. Well, so wildly expectative is unlike that he would ever know the truth. The best we can do is, is to remember events as, as they happened. No more, no less. As the Ronkin so rightly put it, history is learned, not lived. Ah, there you are. My friend, you have been given to understand that thou wert injured. Wouldst thou be a bed? Lie down at a time like this. Don't be absurd. It would have come sooner had the gods not made such a fuss. Now, tell me, what happened? Where's the exit? Exposition. I see. Will you show me his spirit vessel? Pull it out of hammer space. Yes. His souls and memories seem intact. Good. 
and like the others, his ether is not highly charged, so it did not seem necessary to employ a familiar for the imbuing. But I needed to be certain all, all the same. So, and it is but a question of restoring his soul unto his flesh. And as thou didst lately tell me, the success of this process rests in on no more than our friend saw recognizing his flesh as his own. Given his apparent desire to return to the source with Esco, we would think his soul would be only ha too happy to be home, no? Surely it wouldn't balk at the relative newness of its accommodation. No one would hope, oh, but none can speak for this, speak for the exarch's heart of hearts, and no longer speak for himself. Furthermore, although I am drawn upon, upon all of my not inconsiderable experience to predict the outcome, the fact remains that there is no direct precedent as to what we are attempting. Will his body accept his soul? Will his essence blend properly? The awakened whole of mind? Any number of things to go awry. Only hope. Assuming I have succeeded in tempering your expectations, I'll probably add that I did ask the Exarch if he still wished to return to the source in full knowledge of the risks. Simple enough question, I think, warranting a sing single word. Yet the answer I received is rather longer than that. Most comically, in fact. Regardless of the respect of the man, I shall attempt to recite it with a certain amount of poetic license. As I grow, grew older, the burdens I carried became ever more numerous, burdens which weighed upon my hopes, burying them deep within my breast. So deep that I couldn't be certain they were still there. But when I look around me, I'm reminded that no matter how deeply buried they may be, our hopes never truly disappear, but always with them, us in us. I see it in Vol 3, not to vindicate his existence by creating his paradise. I see it in Ranjit, who forsook his life, life's cause in order to protect that which he held most dear. I see it in the people who chose to struggle rather than surrender to dis And though our struggles may differ greatly, since the very beginning of time, they all have all shared that one common thread. We struggle because we have hope. Time comes, we will embrace mine. Follow my heart, regardless of the risks. I will live with all my being, as befits one who has been granted a second chance. There. Told you it was long. Unexpectedly sentimental boot. Oh, jeez. Feelings. One would think of them the outpourings of a dewy-eyed boy, not the old man the exarch. Believe he is? Really? He has actually been alive as long as I've been in hiding. I dare say he's blushing, his vessel. Speaking of which, we should make ready for our journey. I'm the main remains of the essence, after all. Needless to say, once we leave, there is no guarantee that we can return. If anyone has unfinished business, now is the time to see. I must pay a visit to Sleethabow, but as we can be here, none. There will remain some matters which require my attention. Egg. May I leave Thancred in thy care, child? <laughs> um, I've been meaning to get some flowers. I'm Philia. I thought we might help me choose, choose them, and then we can go to Nabath Ring together. That's time. A fine suggestion. Lead on. Well, it's back to you, Mo, for me. Amongst the other things, I owe the mayor an apology for his airship. I assume you have places to be of your own to be at Alize. 
We'll see you later. You probably guessed I was going to pay a visit to the inn at Jenny's head, but I want you to come too. I realize we don't need to say it. You don't need to say any farewells. But the Exarch does, only in spirit. So I thought we might bring him along, so to speak. I'm sure he'd love the thought of being lugged around on his back. So let's be off, shall we? Can't wait to see how Hal looks for you. I shall take this opportunity to conduct a final inspection of the spirit vessels, given that what is at stake one can never be too thorough. Ugh! Shatterbreakers are so good! The feelings! The feelings! myself. Alric? Alric? Oh god, don't tell me he's wander off again. Eskos? Quickly, Eskos, we have to find him. Oh, Elise, I didn't see you there. If you're looking for Alric, he's gone for a walk in with one of the others. They're planning to visit the graveyard, if I'm not mistaken. But that's a relief. Shall we adjourn to the graveyard, then? I was afraid he wandered off again. Oh, there's no need to worry. How how works safe is safe and well. He's been showing good progress. I'd like to go for a walk. Though his steps usually bring him to this particular spot. Oh, I don't know where he have found me here. He doesn't. It's Tesline. The sword that is. We buried it here in our Remembers. What brings you back so soon? I didn't think the next round of treatment yet. Um, no, it isn't. Look, I realize this is sudden, but I've come to say goodbye. Time for me to return home. Rest assured, the treatments will continue. That cloak will continue to oversee them in my stead. You did mention that you and your friends were searching for a way home. It's to say we'll be sad to see you go, but I know everyone will be happy for you. True. Happy and grateful. You've done so much for us. Achieved what none of us dared hope was possible. And we'll see to it that your good work continues and that no more poor souls are buried here for their time. So rest easy and take care. Wish you, you every happiness. Thank you. We'll miss you all. But it isn't time to say our farewells quite yet. So, if there are any tasks that need doing, hunting beasts, fetching water, what, what have you, just say the word. I mean to make use of every last moment here, after all. The time left to... That's right, Halric. Exactly right. Those words will guard you true. Would never forget them. And neither would I.
Thank you for coming to see how our guest goes, and Wesleyan as well. You did always enjoy having visitors, and none are more welcome than you and Ellie did. What? I'm not crying. I just sand it in my eye, that's all. <clears throat> as I mentioned, I mean to stay here as long as possible. In the meantime, perhaps you should go and look at the others. Huffner, for instance. Anyone is crying, it will be him. You still do it here, you? Oh, and send my regards to the chat. What are you still doing here? Go away. I don't want to see you cry. I want you to see me cry. I didn't turn on the volume. Is it loud enough? Sure. But please, Lady Chai, dry your eyes. The thought of never seeing you again is more than my poor heart can bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's you. As you can see, Alphano has broken the news. I don't know how to console her. She thinks we'll be lost without him. It's your case of a thousand words. You'll never let me forget it, will you? I'll have you know I completed the promised painting in the end. Be that as it may, there are times only words will suffice. Lady Chai, I have a confession to make. On the day we ousted Lord Vawthry, when I revealed the truth of his tyranny and your complicity in his crimes, I did so with great trepidation. Not out of fear that you wouldn't listen, but that you might never recover. There was a time when I too, in my hubris, believed myself worthy to lord it over others. And when the lie was laid bare, when I was forced to confront the cost, the lives lost, it all but destroyed me. To awaken from a naive dream to so harsh a reality, I would have understood had you all surrendered to despair. But you didn't surrender. Far from it. You picked yourselves up and rose to the challenge. You found a path forward and the strength to walk it, and to keep walking it, day after day. But what struck me is how much faster you found it than I did. Really? That felt pretty slow to me. <laughs> but rest assured, we'll make Yulmor into a nation anyone would be proud to call home. Eventually. You can still come and go as you please, I believe. When we have good tidings to report, I may trouble you to be the bearer. Count on me. There may also be less than good tidings, in which event I hope I can trouble you for your counsel. I should be honored to provide it, Master Chai. Alpha, no. I know you aren't one to sit still, but do remember to take your ease from time to time. 
And no matter where you are, remember that there are people here who are praying for your health and happiness. Our oh, brave and gentle artist, you have our love, now and always. And you mine. Please take care. We hear the airship crash, and then, uh, never mind, the important, part, important thing is you're all safe and well. That said, you will probably retrieve the wreck bef before the locals strip it for trolley parts. Or perhaps you can make a trade for it. Thank goodness you can still return. If I had to bid farewell to you both, my heart would burst here and now. Like Alphaneo, I know that yours is a life of constant employment, but do visit us from time to time. It would mean the world to us. There's a strange feeling, Esco, to stand in the company of our friends, knowing that I will never see them again. I struggle to reconcile it in my mind. But this I know. I shall cherish my memories of Norvrent and every soul I've met here for the rest of my days. I shall look forward to you, your tales of their endeavors. I can't speak with Brendan. I know Stan the Axarch will be leaving with you. Be capable though, it, though its custodians are, the Crystarium will be poor before it absent. Seems the coming years will be a period of transition for both of our cities. But through mutual cooperation, I'm confident we will find a way forward. Forgive me, I realize now that I never asked you what business brought you here. Can I be of assistance? Oh, Alize just suggested I take uh, the Exarch on tour. They say said that, did she? No. You see, it's quite all right now. I care about the sound of it. Um, perhaps you might consider visiting Oriangi next. Given his conver converse persons with the idiosyncrasies of the Fae folk, I doubt it will be an issue, but a small part of me worries that they may not relinquish him. As such, I would feel better if you were to look me, my friend. Then you have the time, of course. Well, I'm really just waiting on you guys. Because right now, I could just head back to this horse. <laughs> you know, I don't have to wait for you. This one teleport away. Ah, that I would have the pleasure of welcoming a guest, even as my own occupation draws to a close. What brings thee hither, my friend? Exposition. So, thou wouldst grant the Axarch a final tour of the realm which hath been his home for these hundred years. Humble gesture. As for Master Alfno's concerns, thou mayest rest assured that all is well here. Far from detaining me, our bay friends have agreed to assist in the transportation of these tomes Onto the cabinet of curiosity, not more remaineth to be done. Regardless, tis well that thou thou didst come, for I have been meaning to show something to thee. Object I chanced to find after thy victory over Lydibus. 
Though it hath lost its radiance, unmarkably a crystal of light that did in all likelihood belong to Arbor. <laughs> One doing feelings! Feelings! Having been interred with this body, it would remain upon this person after his position by the Oedipus. When his mortal form was, give mine indelicacy, consumed by thy foe to fuel his transformation, I posit that the crystal did tumble free. Save that that which doth abide in thee is all that remaineth of our friend, and if thou art willing, would have thee deliver it unto Seto. I can think of no worthier recipient than he, no more fitting a bearer than thee. As ever, thou wilt find me a morrow in Wolkdorf. My thanks for the house. I tell you, this is the best part. I am I might be like tearing up, sniffling, having feelings. But it, it, it's all good stuff. Ah, Fugwa. Glad that I am to see you safe and well. Rumors spoke of strange spectral foes. But with the skies returned to Momo, I assume all is well again. So, what do I owe the pleasure of? Is that Ardbert's crystal? <laughs> so it is. It has changed, but I would know it anywhere. However, did you come by it? Exposition. <laughs> then, even in death, his enemies found a way to profit from his sacrifice. Oh, it grieves me to think of his body being used for evil ends. But, thanks to you, his honor is restored, and he may finally find peace. No words can express my gratitude. I will keep this crystal safe to the end of my days. Rest easy, my friend. You have earned it. I mean, does anything strike you there is different? Oh. Your soul? Hmm. <gasps> oh. How can this be? Seto, my old friend. You've grown. Oh, oh, Artbert, how I've missed you. Mm. 
I'm sorry I couldn't keep you safe or even console you. Had I only learned to speak sooner, I would have told you how much you meant to me. How much I cared. I knew. I always knew. But I'm happy to hear it nonetheless. Thank you, Seto. My partner in crime. I see. His journey continues. Then I will not yet bid him rest. With you, he may look forward to many more adventures. It has been a while since last I flew. Perhaps I too will go on a little adventure? Ride the winds? Seek the horizon? Yes, I think perhaps I will. Oh. Feelings. I may, I may, when I post this on YouTube, I'm probably just going to call this Ugh Feelings or something like that. Ugh. Oh, we're already at two and a half hours. Jesus. Yeah, this is a, a long one, mainly, mainly because there's a lot. There's, this patch was a lot. Oh, wow. Where are we? Let me take a quick better review. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish it. I, I, I'm gonna finish this, and tomorrow we'll do 5.4, which might be shorter. We won't have that really long wait for for a trial. Ah, uh, at least. Uh, ah, thou art returned. Will you tell me how did Seto receive thine offering? Position. Remarkable. Was fated that thou would, should be the one to undertake his this task. Arbert liveth in, on in thee, so too shall he and his comrades live on in the hearts of the people of Novrent. And their tale, now rightly told, shall inspire new warriors of light for generations to come. Now, under assuming thou uh, intends to continue thy tour, might I suggest Slitherbow as thy next gen destination? task of tidying up one's abode is seldom light work, so I suspect Yishtola is heavier than most. Suffice it to say, a pair of helping hands might not fill the mist. So what is this? Have you come to spy on me? I'm gonna take the extra here. Sure. Oh yeah, you know, she <laughs> truly thinks you so loving me. <laughs> As I am to disappoint, I put my affairs in order some time ago, even bade my farewells. Doesn't want to see rude, Arthur, it is. 
No one to be seen. Runar. Well, he doesn't want to say goodbye. I'm assuming. Master Matoya. For too long, I have remained silent, but no longer. I could not bear it if you were to leave. Please, stay. I beg of you. Rina, please. I jest, at least in part. What I came to say is this. Thank you. Without your wisdom, your strength, and your kindness to guide us, our people would still be lost. We will never forget you, Master Matoya. Wherever your journeys may take you, you will always be in our hearts. <laughs> and you in mine. Remember that your people's journey, that our people's journey, is yet ongoing. Your lives will change, and so too will your dreams. Yet come what may, you need not forsake your time-honored traditions, nor less your beliefs. But neither should you be beholden to them. For it was with curiosity and courage that the Knights Blessed first triumphed over adversity. New knowledge and new wisdom are ever worthy of pursuit. Indeed they are. And so, until we return to the Sunless Sea, we shall endeavor to live our lives to the fullest. That is well. But however great your strides, there may yet come a day when the challenges you face cannot be surmounted alone. On such a day... On such a day? <laughs> you may call on me. You tease! Since a means to travel between worlds exists, you can be sure I will find a way to employ it. And there remain so many mysteries here that want for solving. <laughs> Master Matoya! <laughs> Runa, really? Oh, if she can't come, I'll have to. Oh, see, he's a boy in the body of a man. Anyway, it's time we headed back to the Castellum, shall we? We still have to take the Exarch to Narboth the Ring, I see. Very well, you can look in on Thank the Thancred while you are about it. His will will be a different... His will will be a different farewell, and I'm sure he will... We'd appreciate your, our support. The past goes through twine. If you if you wait wait there, you'll like to meet him on his way back. Not before. Yeah, it's fine. Can I teleport just as my... Oh, it's you. Good to see you looking on the worst of aware. Let me guess. You're here to ride the trolley too? Don't ask me how I know. I just could tell. Ah, you do. What is this? My bloody name day. 
I see, I see. Yes, Tancred was here and Wien too. They said they wanted to go to Nabatharing so that we get them the use of the trolley. That's right, the old girl's up and running again. And we didn't just put her back together, mind you. No, a little bit of help from Master Chai. We made her faster. And stronger. Oh yes, the future of trolleys is looking brighter than ever. Whispered. Now I reckon it'll be time. Time to reach for the stars with a trolley to dwarf all trolleys. You ask me, we're better off making them smaller. That way we can fit in their shelves. Ah, oh, that, that, that's genius! Why didn't I think of that? Enough! You can daydream about the, in your own time. In case you've forgotten, our priority is to make more, more work in Trump. That's why you'd, why we turn to China, Chinese. By the way, not to make the one trip. Not to make the one trolley, we've got to go faster. We needed to help getting a few Talos back to working order. We were out testing them when the, your airship came down. As a matter of fact, you seem to have a bit of crashing, crashing thing. Exposition. We're back. Ah, oh, thanks for the loan of the trolley. As it goes, what are you doing here? Don't tell me the others are waiting for us. That's a relief. At any rate, we are done. Done what we've come to do. What? What mean? Which means I'm ready to leave. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Not to cry, but to... what's going on? We're off somewhere. Yeah, you could say that. Exposition. We are heading home. It's not just a simple mi I'm not just a simple minor. I don't know much about this world traversing. But the young lady here. We looked after. Me? I'll be fine, thank you. I have a place to stay at the Crystarium and don't want for anything. As which I have no shortage of friends. I can turn to friends like you lot. And please don't worry, I'll be fine, really. If you say so. It being the matter of life and death, I suppose you have to. But I for one will still be torn. The choice was mine, I'm not sure I could bear to be parted from my family. No. But it's for the best. Bean has chosen to walk her own path and she doesn't need me under her feet. Besides, I have my own responsibilities and I wouldn't be setting a very good example if I neglected them. Perhaps not. Either way, I en envy you your dilemma. Well then, young lady, if there is anything you need, anything at all, you can call on us. It may surprise you, but we can do more than supply simply offer you trolley ride. Thank you, Meg. Everyone. Shall we then? If you've no one left to visit, we can go back to the Crestarium together. I suppose I did cut, cut the last bit short. Out here by yourself. What's up? Oh, it's you. Probably wondering I'm not with the others. Just, I always knew that everyone would leave one day, and I always hoped and prayed that you would we would find a way to send them home. But now that the time has come, I feel lost and lonely. I don't want our last moments together to be sad. I want to hold myself together just long enough to say the things I need to say. I'm not sure I can even do that. I'll be there with you. Right. Thank you, Vesicos. I think we all feel brave with you around. Go on ahead and join the others. I'll be alone after I've taken a few deep breaths.
All right, let's talk to everyone before we uh, finish this off. I took the liberty of informing the Custodium's leaders of our imminent departure. It seemed only right. I did everything I could in the time I had. The regrets. I thought they would be easier saying, after saying farewell, but every step I took out of Yomor felt heavier than the last. I trust the Exarch has a pleasant tour of the realm. That's everyone, then. We've all said what we needed to. Even as we speak, Becklug undertaketh their final inspection of our spirit vessels. When thine own preparations for the journey are complete, thou art to present thyself in the ocular. Everyone? I want to thank you all. On behalf of the First. You, and Minfilia, and the Exarch. Without each and every one of you guiding us, fighting for us, we wouldn't be standing here now. There wouldn't even be a here. And no words can express our gratitude. We still have a lot to do. Countless trials to overcome. But if it ever seems too much, I'll think of our time together. The happy moments, and the sad. I will remember it all. And it will give me the strength to carry on without you. Because you made me who I am. Minfilia. Reen. To honor these names and these memories, I will stand with all the people of this land and strive for a better tomorrow. Tancred, I believe the honor of responding should rightfully be thine. <laughs> I know better than most how much you've grown. And I have every confidence you'll make your people proud. Gods know I'm proud of you. I always will be. You deserve all the happiness in the world, and more. Might we also say a few words? They got us surrounded. Why, this is just about all of you. <laughs> to see you off seemed the least we could do. You risked your all for us, fought for a realm not your own. Before you came, we had never known the beauty of the night sky. <laughs> or the joy of your company.
Though it saddens us deeply to bid you farewell, it has ever been our way to send off friends with a smile. Wherever your road should lead, we shall pray for your safety. And following your brave example, we shall continue to fight for the Crystarium. With or without us, you've always taken good care of this city. I don't doubt for a moment you'll continue to do so. I, a more resilient people we have never known. As resilient and enduring as the tower that watches over you. To the last, we did not question the Exarch about his past. It is only now, when he can no longer tell us, that we believe we know the answer. We have heard what became of him, and what is about to be attempted. All will be well. Of this we are certain. How could it be otherwise, when every soul in the Crystarium is praying for it with all their heart? And so, when our Lord awakens, I bid you give him a message. Tell him he needn't worry about us. That he need no longer hide who he truly is that he should live his own life to the fullest. And that if he should ever find himself reminiscing on the past with a smile, we shall be smiling with him. Violent! Will you tell him this? forward thank you please look after him for us I dare say we have all the good wishes we can carry let us be on our way Wind up the missile. The heart laid bare, a ring pierced to the end. <laughs> oh, the lanes. Well, I suppose it's time. Are you ready, Eskos? All right, let's not keep the others waiting. Ah, Master Asagos, I have at this moment shown uh, your associates in. I should think I will not have the honor of showing them out again. But I am informed that you yourself may yet return, and I look forward to welcoming you on that happy day. Now that you would just care to follow me. Why am I crying? Oh.
All right, let's talk to everybody before we talk to Becklug. Angelo stands ready to work his magic on our souls. I did not expect such a rousing farewell from the people. It was the very thing my spirits needed. Now that all that remains is to return to the source. Well, no, we have made Kryl and Tataru really long enough. In the spirit of solidarity, I bid you carry the vessels as if your life depended on it. <laughs> I think that was a threat. How many times have we yet you assembled thus in the story chamber? Many and more, I think. Were the Exarch standing before us, the scene would be complete. Hey, would be complete were you standing before us with Emic socks sparking in the wings. Since we cannot take our worldly goods with us, I want you to have my, my gun blade. Use it or sell it, it is all the same to me, so as long as it serves you in some way, I will be satisfied. Thank you, Zenkrid. I'll treasure it. Oh, I never even noticed that. It was the first time I noticed that, because it... Ugh, sorry. Here's... Ruby knows... Your thing's like... Blubbery. Uh, because it, during the raid series for, for Eden, during, I think, the first two parts, Eden's Gate and Eden's Verse, we have uh, Orion, Uche, and Thancred are there. But then Eden's Promise, they, this was, that happens after this quest. And in one of the scenes, we see uh, Thancred's gun blade uh, propped up on a crate nearby. But this at least now gives me more context as to why it was there. I, I mean, kind of assumed what, why it was there, but in any case. Ah, there you are. I take it you are ready for the journey. Spirit vessels are primed and our company complete. At a word from you, we shall begin. Upon beginning the soul imbuing ritual, several cutscenes will play in sequence. Recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view. Well, I'm going to. Like, I'm already at over three hours. I try not to do this, but. We're not at a stopping point, okay? I love this. Begin the soul imbuing uh, ritual and return to the swords for their comrades. Slobbering <laughs> again! Ah, oh, feelings. Very good. I shall disturb. distribute the vessels at once. <laughs> I'm a mess. This is like the second or third time that I've been through this. All right, then. Pray proceed as instructed, beginning with your memories. I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to mute myself. Focus, focus on this. I'm going to turn the volume all the way up. First step is complete, and all appeareth to be in order. Well, that just leaves our souls then. We're in your hands, Angelo. Are 
It is done! The vessels have received of both their memories and their souls! I hereby entrust them to your care. They belong to you now. Just be sure to guard them well, yes? This will work, won't it? Our theories have held thus far, but I make no promises about what is to come. Even the greatest mages in history knew better than to transport a soul across the rift. We, my dear, are in unknown territory. Prepare as we might, we cannot account for all possibilities. And it is in such circumstances that accidents are wont to occur. Yet miracles do happen, so let us pray and will our friends home. I won't stop praying until I know they're safe. All safely stowed away? I do hope so. All that remains then is to step into the mirror. Go now, and safe travels. Did it? Are we? Thank you. My body feels like a sack of popotas, but otherwise, 
I have never felt better. <sighs> that said, I doubt any of us will be fit to travel for some while. May we leave the rest to you? The vessel beareth our comrade's blood. With it in thy possession, the way will surely open before thee. Tataru, might I trouble you to brew us all a pot of your special tea? Ah, and we may require an extra cup. Yours is a long road, my friend, and it stretches onto places beyond imagining. With your every step, these grand adventures shall grow more distant and faint. And there may come a day when you forget the faces and voices of those you have met along the way. On that day, I bid you remember this. That no matter how far your journey may take you, you stand where you stand by virtue of the road you walked to get there. For in times of hardship, when you fear you cannot go on, the joy you have known, the pain you have felt, the prayers you have whispered and answered, they shall ever be your strength and your comfort. This I hope, I believe, here at memory's end. What is it, Alizé? Are you all right? Do you still feel under the weather? Physically, I couldn't be better. Thanks to Kryle's ministrations, I'm already looking forward to our next fight. But seriously, don't you have anything to say about that?
<laughs> no less impressive than our garments. You've outdone yourself, Tataru. <laughs> to give credit where it's due, I had help from a certain fiery pixie who visited me in my dreams. They gave me all the information I needed to get the details just right. For your weapons, though, I needed a lot more help. Thankfully, <laughs> our favorite heads of state were happy to place their finest craftsmen at my exclusive disposal. Oh, and speaking of the Alliance leaders, they all express their unreserved elation at your safe return and promise to come and see you in person as soon as they can. They really needn't have gone to such trouble. But we'll be keeping these gifts all the same. Do pass on our gratitude. I realize we haven't taken up new martial art, nor have I ever been one to set much store by appearances. But I can't help feeling a certain lack of... I don't know... personal development. <laughs> I quite understand. But as you observed, the others had the more pressing need. Rest assured, our turn will come. If I expend any more ether, I swear I will blink out of existence. I need a bite to eat. Tataru, a cup of tea, if you'll be so kind. And something sweet. By Mistress Cryle's exhausted state, may I assume that the ward hath been restored? Indeed. We succeeded in weaving it anew, albeit at a slightly diminished potency than when I had Beck Lug's assistance. It is no cause for concern, though. The tower is not easily reached, never mind breached. And even should some few succeed, their presence won't escape my notice. Excellent. Said duty thus discharged, thou art free to go wheresoever thy fancy taketh thee. Upon which note, hast thou perchance come to a decision? The offer remaineth open. Well, if you're certain that's what you... I, I, I mean if you think I... Gra. Really? <sighs> right. I accept. Henceforth, I shall count myself a scion of the seventh dawn. Grahatia, at your service. When I was a boy, many long years ago, I yearned to stand tall as the heroes of Eld. But like a fool seeking to pluck the stars from the heavens, my every attempt to reprise their deeds fell short. I could do with a little rampage myself. 
What? N now wait just a... <laughs> Here we go again. I will join the fray when I finished my tea. Thus did the Avatar of Destruction descend, and in her wake leave naught but tears and ash. <laughs> and then, one day, an all but forgotten dream from my youth stood before me, in the flesh. So it was that a new adventure began. <sighs> the memory of a dying world's end. Night after night. And I thought it but a tired old dream. I say, I knew that securing the palace would provide your radiance with depressingly little sport, but that you should fall asleep out of boredom. Splendid, truly splendid. And my own preparations, you will be pleased to hear, proceed apace. Oh yes, they proceed very well indeed, frighteningly so. And we owe it not least of all to this singularly useful body I chance to find. With the Populares now all but destroyed, it will be the simplest of tasks to discredit their groundless assertions that I met with a grisly end. And as the very much alive Lord of House Brutus, I have a vast fortune at my disposal. Ah, money! 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 The great motivator! There is simply no better way to move men and expedite plans than with its alluring glint, would you not agree? <gasps> but wait! Were we not acquainted, you and I? Should our familiarity cause you distress, I beg your forgiveness. <sighs> what did you say your name was? Oh, a dagger through my heart that my deepest desire should forever remain unfulfilled, to live unrecognized, to die forgotten. <laughs> so it goes. Whatever this flesh may have been before, it serves only as a vessel now. And I, faithful Fan Daniel, labor only to advance my lord's ambition.
Speaking of which, with the palace in our hands, we may now proceed with the next phase of the plan. But how very odd. Despite all our havoc wreaking, old Elidibus did not deign to appear. Dare I hope that the last of the unsundered is gone? Bound no more by the shackles of mouldering memories of damnable duty, free at last to live for the moment! Your radiance, but give the word, and I shall go forth and prepare for you your hunting ground. That which awaited was a foul beast. Ferocious, ravenous, remorseless. Do as you will. Nothing like an insane Asian. It has been too, too long, my friend. And insufferably dull in your absence. When you return to me, you will share everything. Every blow will be a story unto itself. Every triumph. Every kill. Rest assured, we shall have a fitting stage for our reunion. Oh yes, to reprise that transcendent moment, I will set this world ablaze. And we shall dance before the pyre. Danassian serving an insane god. The beast shall kindle the flames of the apocalypse. Into its domain shall the hero set forth for the final chapter in the tale of this star. So we go beat up some hippogriffs, we come back. Ah, oh, you're back. Hmm. Let me ask you, do you think I was especially familiar earlier with my tone and mannerism? A lot of better to be familiar than formal. If we, we, we are to be comrades, and now I it might be distracted from the gratitude and respect that I harbor for everyone. Perhaps I might consider it to nod to my credibility less than humble. Yes, th yes, that will do. Ah, being free to live as one pleases is not without its challenges. In a way, it was easier than I had a mission that consumed my every week moment, provided me with a focus, constant push in a single direction. By the way, it was, was casting spells always so draining? I was quite forgotten what it was like to do, do it without the tower. It has rarely felt so exhausted. Hungry. Yet, if all I did was to bend the bow, it was bend the bow, I would be of limited use to you of your adventures. I shall persevere. Whoever I might have been before, I am now a scion, an inexperienced scion of that green initiate, eager to learn how best to contribute to the cause, that he might follow in the footsteps of this inspiration. Rahatia is now available as a trust companion. Alright, that's it. I went an hour longer than 
how I normally like to go. But had to, to complete it. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with uh, 5.4. Right here. Hi, Saturn. Peter Saturn.